so I am in the process of making bruschetta. And what I've done is I went to the bakery at Publix and I picked out a multi-grain bread that looks like this. You want to see your nutrition, so no white bread anymore. We want all the nutrition that you can uh, get when you're eating. You gotta fuel your body. So I'm gonna take this bread. And what I've done is I've chopped up some onions and I've chopped up tomatoes. And I have some mozzarella cheese, some olive oil, some minced garlic, and I usually use fresh basil, and they didn't have any today at uh, Publix, so what I'm gonna use instead is spinach. So everything here is uh, protein and your good carbs, and we all know that's what we should be eating together. And what I've done with the tomatoes is I've cut them in half and I pulled the seeds out of the center. That way your bread doesn't end up soggy. And I put them in my chopper, and chopped it. And now I'm going to put this on my bread. The first thing I want to put on is the olive oil. I'm just sprinkle a little bit on there. Then I'm going to take my minced garlic and spread that on top. And then I'm going to take some onions, spread that on top. And my tomatoes, I just chopped. take some fresh ground pepper, and that on the top. And if I have fresh basil, I would throw that on, but I don't have any, so I'm going to use some spinach. That right on top. I put that on a cookie sheet and bake it in the oven at 350 for about 15, 20 minutes. And when it comes out of the oven, it's going to look like this. So it can be a snack, it can be a side dish um, to go with pasta, if you have multi-grain pasta that you're cooking, or if you have any fish or chicken, um, and it's really, really yummy. And don't be afraid to experiment. You can put uh, crab meat on there, uh, shrimp, uh, you can do some chicken, and you can throw some uh, different types of cheese on there. So don't be afraid to experiment and see, see what you like, and uh, uh, please share those recipes. All right, enjoy.